Today we'll be demonstrating how Sentinel-1 can be used to secure resources running within AWS's new ECS Anywhere service. For our demo environment, we have a cluster named S1 Demo ECS Anywhere. This cluster has a single service uh, running within it with a single task definition for DBWA, and DBWA is our test application. And the instance that supports our ECS cluster uh, is in the Ubuntu 2004 VM that is actually running within VirtualBox on my laptop here. This Ubuntu 2004 VM is protected by a Sentinel-1 agent, uh, which is capable of protecting not only tasks and containers, but also the Ubuntu host itself. If we take a look at the Sentinel-1 policy, we can see that we're currently set up in a detect-only mode. Uh, we'll start off in this mode uh, in order to show details of how detections occur, malware and or malicious behaviors are detected within a running container. Once we've reviewed those, we will apply a manual mitigation. Later on, we'll update the S1 policy to protect mode to show an automated protection scenario. Moving over to our DBWA application interface, we'll select Command Injection. The text input box on this page is, of course, susceptible to command injection. Uh, the intended purpose of this text box is to take in an IP address as input that the application can then ping and return the output for the user to see. However, the code isn't properly sanitized in that it doesn't sanitize the input properly. And because of this, an attacker can append or concatenate characters and chain commands uh, to the end of the input, which the code behind happily accepts and executes. So for our example, uh, we'll use this cat of Etsy shadow, which mimics a, a credential stealing malware type behavior. Select that and hit submit. And while that's executing, oh, now it's done, we'll switch over to the Sentinel-1 console into the incident section. And here we can see we have a detected threat. And if we click on the threat details for this incident, that brings us to the uh, threat details screen. What we can see here up at the top is the, the current threat status. Uh, we also have details about the timing of this uh, incident and prevalence details, uh, other static information about the threat, such as the file path, uh, command line arguments that were sent. We also have uh, policy and engine details, a link to uh, deep visibility for the storyline details. And before, below, we see information about the Sentinel-1 agent uh, itself. On the right, we see some uh, other interesting tidbits that give us some additional context uh, about this specific threat and the Docker container involved in the threat. On the right-hand side, we see some of the malicious behaviors observed by the agent and their corresponding uh, MITRE techniques. If we want deeper details on this incident, we can switch to the Explore window. And if we expand out this tree, we can see the entire chain of events uh, within this container from the time that the container first spun up and its entry point of main.shell uh, all the way up through the current state of processes and everything in between. And if we select on any items in the tree, you'll notice that the event details on the right update as we select uh, different nodes within the tree. And it was this particular node in which things started to behave oddly. And we can see details of those here. This should look familiar. This was the command that ultimately got executed by the operating system. The pinging of our 127001 that was passed into the text box and then, of course, our concatenated command, cat Etsy shadow, which you can also see details of here. 
Okay, after reviewing the details of our threat, we were in a mitigation mode, as we saw here in our uh, screen, overview screen. If we want to take our manual action, we can click the actions menu, click mitigate action. For our scenario, we'll select both kill and quarantine. Go ahead and mark this as resolved. Add a note if we like, could be any note and use an analyst verdict of true positive. We'll click apply. We have a couple of toast messages that appear. Notice that our note takes place and then our mitigation actions are now underway. So the console signaled to the Sentinel-1 agent that it should kill all corresponding processes in this chain, which of course leads back to the entry point for the container. And one side product of stopping the entry point for a container is that the container itself stops, which the ECS service happily restarts that container on our behalf. So if we refresh the page, we notice that we're being prompted to log back in to our DVWA application. And note that we are being prompted to reconfigure our database for our DVWA. So we know that we're working with a, a fresh container. So with the combination of Sentinel-1 being able to mitigate the threat, we take advantage of the built-in functionality of ECS that puts us back to our known good state. In the meantime, we can always come back and review anything about our threat, including telemetry data for this threat that has been streamed to our backend deep visibility data lake. And we can do this at all times. So even though that container no longer exists, it's no longer running, we can still review our forensic details that have been streamed to the back end, enjoying both benefits, benefits of a quick cleanup and also benefits of being able to investigate without our hair on fire. Okay, we'll close this threat now. And we'll go back to the Sentinel-1 policy screen. And as promised, we will select a protect stance for our policy and save this. Okay, that's been successfully updated. Now, switching back to our application, we'll get logged back in. Go back to our command injection. Let's go with a different one. So th this one will curl down from an external uh, website, uh, a script, It'll mark it as executable and then attempt to run the script. So this uh, simulates what an attacker might do if they were able to achieve reliable command injection. Uh, a typical next step is to download another helper script to help them escalate privileges, execute subsequent phases of an attack. So I'll click submit here and we notice that right away the page is killed. So switch back over to Sentinel-1, and we notice that, oh, we have a green status now. Let's look into this, and yep, third status is mitigated. We have details about the kill and quarantine, and all the same other level of details, our new Docker container that's been spun up. Again, other details are all, all here, but our remediation took place immediately. If we switch back to the application and refresh, you notice that once again, ECS Anywhere is doing its wonderful job. Uh, it's respawned our DVWA task, log back in, and again, we can tell it's a brand new container ready to go. So that's it for this demo. Hopefully this is helpful and thank you for watching.